everyone welcome back to my channel so it is a dreary rainy day um, it was nice earlier but it has started to rain um, I'm gonna be preparing some beans tonight and I had gotten a package of beans from Rancho Gordo so they're supposed to be like a premium heirloom bean company and I was curious so I did get a pound of um, cranberry beans so I'm just gonna prepare this as a soup so they're gonna be soupy beans um, I'm going to show you what I use I I did get this dried so I have them soaking in water and it's been soaking for most of the day and now I just want to cook them I know for some of you you know who are staying safe at home self quarantining at home um, I'm sure you have dry beans around and if maybe you're not certain how to prepare it or you're running out of ideas on how to prepare it not too complicated I don't think this video is not sponsored at all by Rancho Gordo but um, this is just me trying to taste test it and <laughs> see if I like it or not so for my beans I am gonna drain them and then rinse them a little bit and put them in a pot of fresh water I have some garlic cloves that I will be splitting in half. I have half an onion. I have a few carrots, but I don't think I'm going to be using all of them, and I'm not going to be putting them in right away. I also have a lemon. I'm going to be using the skin. And I've got a couple of fresh bay leaves. The rest I've hung to dry. And some whole peppercorns, as well as some fresh thyme. And I will be using a little bit of olive oil and then a good pinch of salt. So my garlic cloves, I'm kind of using a lot of the small pieces of garlic from the center of the whole bulb and I'm just going to cut it in half lengthwise and that'll go into my pot along with the beans. And then the other thing that I've done, I made strips of the lemon peel and this is going to go into the pot as well. So to a pot of water, I added my soaked and drained beans. I put some onion, some garlic, fresh thyme, fresh bay leaf, a pinch of dried oregano, some dried peppercorn, and a good hefty dose of salt. I will have measurements in the description box if you'd like to check that out and try this. Um, and also, a drizzle of olive oil so typically when you add that it helps with the pot from over boiling um, this has been cooking for about 15 almost 20 minutes so I want to add in some carrot just to give it a little bit of sweetness okay so this is this is pretty much done I, I did taste one of the beans and they are tender um, they hold their shape up fairly well and you know with everything in here it's come together quite nice so I'm going to put some in a bowl and <laughs> show you how I serve it so to this I am going to drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and I'm also going to put a little lemon on here because I like the two together. And then some parsley on top just to finish this off. And then with this, I have some adult um, <laughs> grilled cheese, not grilled cheese, kind of like a baked cheese sandwich. I just split open a baguette and... Um, put a slice of cheese in there or you could just do plain crusty bread and for a cold rainy night this is just what I'm after so um, this is gonna be a really good meal at home So just to let you know while I was sorting the beans before I put them to soak I only found three beans that were not suitable that they weren't good at all but three beans out of the pound is not bad there have been other instances where, you know, I'm sorting through the beans and I have to pull out quite a bit. I do really like the consistency of the bean. It doesn't fall apart very easily. They are a good all-purpose bean, I would say. 
you are interested, I will have a link to their website below in case you would like to check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have a detailed description of how I prepared the beans in case you wanted to try it out this way. Hope everyone is doing well and I will see you next time. Bye.